Hello, welcome to your reading. How do they see you right now? I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. How do they see you right now? What perspective do they have of you? I will share with you everything that comes through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into this energy. I see here your energy. It naturally draws you here to this card. Now, with this picture here on the card, this is like closeness and intimacy and love and understanding. But let's see what your card does say. It says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So with this energy here, just coming straight through here, I can definitely see that they see you as being somebody that's very funny or someone that loves to laugh, very optimistic. You like to look at the brighter side of life. You don't like scary movies. You don't like drama. It's like, hey, keep the drama for your you already know what rhymes with drama. You are not with that. And so they are just like, they like that about you. You know how you're optimistic. You are the light bringer. And also I feel like you love jokes. Like you love cracking jokes and you like comedy as well. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they view you and see you right now? And you have here the Six of Wands. So with the Six of Wands energies, this is fire. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of their birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And specifically here, though, with the Six of Wands showing up, this is about good news. So this is a nice confirmation of the energy that Spirit just gave us about your optimistic, enthusiastic nature coming through. Yes, it's like, hey, baby, bring me good news, okay? I want to talk about success, all right? And where is my recognition for my hard work and efforts? So they feel like, you know, you're just someone that really wants to level up in life, move forward. You are the goal seeker and the goal getter. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. Uh, how do they see you and view you? How do they see you and uh, the you, you duality? Let me just point out here that with the duality energy, that the frequency of duality, that supports your ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites. So that means that, hey, you can rock with anybody. You can rock with the wealthy. You can rock with the people that have less money. You can rock with anyone, okay, because you are open-hearted. You're generous. You're giving. You're understanding. That's the thing. You have this huge uh, perspective about life. You're open-minded, and that is how they see you right now. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they see you? I get a lot of good vibes from your energy right now coming through. I have a feeling that you're a lot happier right now, especially while you're watching this reading. So thank you for that. I am definitely feeling your energy. And you have here the Azurite. Get laser focused. Focused. They know that you're able to turn your visions into reality. You low-key inspire this person, whether they want to admit it or not. And not only that, honey, you don't have a problem taking inspired action and going towards your goals. Your very creative energy is definitely coming through quite strongly here. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they view you and see you right now? How do they view you and see? Ooh, page of wands, fire. Look at Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries just popping through like this. This 
creative energy is insane that they recognize about you. But specifically here with this page of wands energy, it's like, see, you have this active kid energy, and that's simply because you are aligned with your inner child, all right? And this page of wands energy is about how active you are, all right? You're like, you're always thinking about a new project, something new to do. You are never satisfied, honey, creatively. And that's perfectly okay because once you do focus your mind in on something that feels fantastic, then that is where you stay. So this is how they do see you. And not only that, the page of wands is you give this person lots of inspiration, meaning that you help them to even align with the greater version of themselves, even offering them a more visualizing, you know, perspective. And they get really creative ideas when they talk to you, when they connect with you, when they are vibing with you. You just, you have a way of opening that up for them. And let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they see you and view you right now? Ooh, look, the tile sessions, more fire. Yes, let me tell you this. They see you as being very feisty. I can definitely see that. Resilient, bold, and sassy. Okay, your divine feminine energy. They cannot stop you. They cannot hold you back. You cannot be cuffed. Unless you want to, that is. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, but yeah, they are recognizing your boldness. That genuine energy that you have, that Fire, they see you as being fierce, hot, absolutely hot and stunning. They are attracted to your feminine essence. You just have this gorgeous, alluring energy about you where they can't stop thinking about you, your physical appearance, along with your optimistic nature is such a huge Turn on for this person. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they see you? What is happening with this energy? Their perspective. You have Pluto. This is sexiness. This is transformation. Pluto is definitely the planet of sensuality and your sexy. So I love the planet Pluto showing up immediately after that message here with the tile sessions coming through. I love this for you. Renewal. They definitely feel like you're someone that looks a lot younger than your age here. You know, and they know. See, you have these basic instincts, all right? Motivation, baby, and that personal power. Oh, they love your energies, by the way. Like, they cannot get enough of you. Constantly thinking about you. I also hear with Pluto being that this is the planet of transformation. There's like endings and like new beginnings, okay? So, I feel like they are wanting to make new memories with you as well. Also, um, there's something very intense that they recognize about you and something taboo as well. So maybe it's like your spiritual nature, how you like, you know, you like Oracle and Tarot, the unseen and spaceships and the earth and everything connected to source. Whereas they may look at that as like, because they don't understand it, they're looking at it like, I don't know, that's a taboo. And maybe you shouldn't be looking over there. But you understand energy. See, you understand that everything is energy. And that whatever you are attracted to in whatever moment, that is where you're supposed to be. Because you know that whatever your thoughts are, that is where your mood is, your emotions, and it naturally gravitates you to where you are, such as here in this reading. And the planet Pluto does rule over the zodiac sign of Scorpio. So they see or feel like you're hiding something, some sort of message. Maybe you're not telling them exactly how you truly feel. They're wondering if they are really important to you the way that they want to be important to you. 
Do you have someone else? Are you loving someone else? And if so, who are you loving? And that's what they truly want to know. And so beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. How do they see you? What is their perspective about you right now? I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your energy. I see here, <laughs> your attraction brings you here to this card. In this card, I can definitely see that these two people are connected and they are showing each other support. Let's see what your card says. It says embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And so what I'm picking up clearly here from the person that is that brought you here to this reading is that what they see in you is a part of them. Something that they are not fully expressing, but they recognize it in you and you are expressing that characteristic trait. But they, for some reason, are shut down or closed off with expressing that part of themselves. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is it that mm, they view or see about you? Ooh, King of Cups, emotions. So they, they are definitely in their feelings regarding this emotional connection. The cup energy does represent the emotions and water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces in the top placements of their birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation in the reading. But specifically, the King of Cups energy, they see you as being like a supportive person. You've supported this person. You was there for them. You tolerated their shenanigans. And you had great empathy. You know? you. I feel like this is someone that you gave more than one opportunity to, to get it right. And they missed that energy about you because they thought, there were other people like you out there, but they were absolutely wrong. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, you know what? It's coming through with this person energy that they're feeling a bit lonely and kind of like lost because of the disconnect and this relationship connection. Let's get more. You have here the Chrysal. Cola, start fresh. So with the Chrysler Cola crystal card, they see you like looking better, looking younger, moving forward, doing things different, not turning back to do the old, but you're looking forward towards the new. They feel like you have a new perspective. So see, something about you changed. The way you were giving out so much attention to this person, it's different now. They see you from a fresh set of eyes now. They see you as worthy. They see you as someone that knows your value. They see you as someone that is highly respected and should be treated in that way. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do? What's happening with their view? How they see you? Jupiter, expansion, growth. And with the planet of Jupiter showing up here, let me just point out that Jupiter does rule over the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. So if Sagittarius is in the top placements of their birth chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. Could be in the sun, the moon, the rising sign, the seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. But nevertheless, how they see you as someone that has great enthusiasm, optimism, very generous person. Again, you have given so much to this person that they could never give back to you. Benevolence. They feel lucky when they are connected to you. Travel. 
You know, they feel like you're going to go out of town. You're going to maybe travel to a new country, have new experiences, meet new people, maybe even meet like a new like romantic partner or even like platonic friends. They see you as a traveler, very able to interact with foreign cultures. Something about you as well, you're a great teacher, you're a great philosopher, and you can inspire lots of people. So Spirit is encouraging you here to tap into your gifts and your talents. Thank you, Spirit. This person sees you as having great potential as well. An explorer, an adventurer. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they see you? How do they view you? Reflection. Ooh. So let me just point out here that the energy of reflection, that supports your growth through insight that you get from contemplation of self and others and see how the reading started with they see something in them that is in you but you are expressing yours fully. You are outwitted. No, you may not have like this huge platform on social media, but you do have the potential to do that if you so choose so. But as far as your personal expression around people who you are, you are real, real. People recognize you as real, real. If you don't want to go to the party, you're just going to kindly say, no, I'm not able to do that. And you're not going to go. You're not going to go just to make someone else feel good. Unless it's someone that is so close to you, like a sibling or just a close relative that you love so much. You're like, you know what? I'll go with you and I'll drive you so that you're able to drink a little champagne and I'll make sure that we get home safely. That's because you are so close to that person. But other people see you as real too because it's like, you know, you have this extroverted energy, but... You're an introvert, meaning like you can get along, you can move in any circle, but you love solitude and you love to be alone. It just feels so good to you. <laughs> Let's get more insight. This person right now is self-reflecting on this connection and how everything was going you know, how it went, their actions, your actions, the interactions between the two of you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they view you? Mm, the Kabbalah, the tree of life, integration, life lessons, emanation. Yep. This makes perfect sense, and it lays right next to reflection, which is so incredible. I love when spirit confirms the energy with us. Thank you. I am so grateful. Life lessons. They see you as someone that really is able to learn life lessons. You may not heal immediately from certain challenges or even experiences, but eventually you do. You try your best to keep moving forward. You try your best to not repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Love is the only thing that will make you like stay with this person or repeat or give them more than one chance or you know be there when you don't have to be there because you truly care. And that's that great empathy that you have here. But since you have been evolving and aligning with that greater version of who you truly are, you know that you are not obligated to anyone but your own self. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. You, mm -hmm. this person is feeling grief right now, you know, feeling kind of abandoned because you have decided to focus truly on who you are. You love this person, you know, and spirit is encouraging you to send this person lots of love and white sparkly light energetically. Let's get more. Thank you. You have here the nine of swords. With the Nine of Swords energy, this is air, intellect, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, 
in the top placements of their birth chart or your birth chart. But specifically here with the Nine of Swords energy, this person knows for a fact that you are keeping and maintaining boundaries and you are persistent with that. Protecting your spirit, protecting your energy. Because you know that it's a practice to be happy, healthy, and wealthy. You know, you know it takes practice. And so he, I'm picking up he, knows that you know that. So he views you as being mature, one that has grown through this relationship challenges, even through other challenges in your life. And you are not going to default <laughs> You want the best that life has to offer. And that's how they view you. And so beautiful, number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. How do they see you right now? What perspective do they have on you? I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. You're naturally drawn here to this card with the image of these two people reflecting. And let's see what it says. It says, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So I can definitely see that this person is emotionally and spiritually connected to you. I can also see that this person and this connection is a part of your life purpose. I can also feel that um, this person has this deep sense of belonging with you and wishes for a future with you as well. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they see you, view you? What is the energy? You have here the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords energy, this is air, and this is about the mind, the intellect. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini are significant in the top placements of their birth chart or yours. But here with the Ten of Swords, this is like a burden. Like you have, this person feels like you have a lot on your shoulders, like a lot you have to deal with, a lot of responsibilities. But mentally and emotionally, this is how they are feeling as well, you know, because of like the connection between you two. They feel very heavy because they are unsure what this fut what the future holds for the both of you. And let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here integrity. Ooh. So with integrity, you know, I feel like there is definitely some dishonesty that took place. Like you found out something about this person. They were not quite honest with you and sharing of information because here with the energy of integrity that supports your choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided by a high moral standard and see they see that you are loyal you're dedicated you're grounded you are morally just you were fair with them upright you're speaking out you know, and they don't feel like they did the same with you. And so they feel like you're looking at them in some certain kind of way, like, hey, you're not right for doing that. Or, hey, you could have done this this way. I'm getting a message coming through here. The spirit is encouraging you here to send this person lots of forgiveness, you know, because this person, it helps you to forgive, lightens your load. And it helps you to vibrate at a high frequency to allow you to attract to you relationships that are loving and understanding and that are truthful by nature. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And 
that you have the crystal jade card be the bigger person look at this very strong confirmation coming out immediately after you get this message to forgive this person yes be the bigger person be the one that is able to see from a higher perspective yes you are valid for feeling like frustrated or hurt, but you don't want to carry that energy around because it's heavy. It's burdensome. It's burdensome. It doesn't feel good. So be the bigger person and let go. Let go with love. If you have to communicate with this person, communicate with kindness and tact. Because at the end of the day, what are you really seeking? You're seeking to feel good. You're seeking to attract the best experiences in life that the universe has to offer you. And the only way that you can do that is to feel good. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening? You have here the fourth house. The number four is significant, either in the birthday, birth month, or birth year. Fourth house. I love the fourth house showing up. It rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is significant. It's about the family, the home, the background, something that took place. Comfort here, cooking, the inner world, your spiritual well-being, your view of how you see yourself, shelter and self-care. There's a clear emphasis here for you to take care of yourself. This person feels like you have been taking care of yourself um, because you have not been giving so much of who you are to them, you're rejuvenated. So they definitely see you as looking a lot younger, feeling a lot younger, even more like vibrant as well. Uh, the fourth house does also represent real estate. So real estate is significant here, coming through in the energy as a confirmation here. And habits, habits. So something maybe you're doing on a regular basis to improve your life, implementing healthy foods, making healthy choices, choosing healthy thoughts, a habit you're forming right now. And Spirit wants you to know that you are on the right track. Well, let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Nagas, lovers, erotical, erotical sensuality. That's how to view you. Very sexy person, very loving person, very sensual, alluring. This person is attracted to you, extremely attracted to you in this way. They want to have this lover energy, that deep partnership together. They think about you, whether or not you're having this intimate relationship with someone else. They don't like the fact that that could be it. They don't understand or know whether or not they are the best choice for you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is happening here with this energy? How do they view you? See you. How do they view you? You have here seven of wands. Ooh, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries showing up quite strong with the wands energy. And creative energy, creativity, seven of wands is significantly indicating that you, they feel like you have you have like your self defenses up. Again, nice confirmation coming through that you are protecting your energy, protecting your mind, your body, your spirit. Okay, with the self defense energy of the seven of wands, and then again, this is competition. So again, they are very worried about the competition, the male competition, the alpha male energy. I feel like you are really attracted to an alpha male. And I said that I would let you know what's coming through. I'm getting beta male energy from the energy of the person that you came here for the reading. But you are strongly compatible with alpha male energy because you are a divine alpha female. So yes, they are worried about the competition. Who could be on your mind? Who's loving you? Where are you going? Who are you communicating with daily, whether it's text or phone calls? 
And is there anyone making you more happier than they can? And so beautiful, number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.